The Kristen Smart murder case finally came to an end last Friday when Paul Flores was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. Smart was a Cal Poly freshman when she went missing in 1996. Her body was never found, making it a difficult case to prosecute. And San Luis Obispo County District Attorney Dan Dow joins us live now to talk about the long journey to justice. Thank you so much for being here. What was your reaction to the sentencing? We were just so gratified that finally this part of um, the horror that our community has gone through for 26 years has come to a uh, significant milestone, not quite a closure, but uh, to have Paul Flores, the monster that he is, sentenced to 25 years to life was very gratifying. Flores was the only person of interest since the case began in 1996 when Smart was last seen. There were many reasons to suspect it was him, but after so many years, what new evidence gave you the confidence a jury would convict Paul Flores? Well, rather than telling you the specific pieces of evidence, I'll just say that it's so important that any prosecution never goes forward prematurely, particularly when the stakes are so high, like murder of a missing young woman. Um, if we had gone forward before we had enough evidence to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, double jeopardy would have kicked in and we wouldn't have ever been able to re-prosecute him. And so it wasn't until just shortly before we filed the case in early 2021 that we finally had enough, that both the sheriff's office had enough to make an arrest in our office to make a decision to charge Paul Flores with murder. Um, prior to that, uh, we just did not have enough evidence. How likely is it that Kristen Smart's body will be located? And do you believe Paul Flores will play, play a role in that? And if so, either way, will that impact his parole? Um, I think the question was about um, the location of Kristen's remains. Is that right? Correct. So um, it, it doesn't have any impact on Mr. Flores' sentence, um, probably not even on his parole, although a person serving a sentence should be able to show a parole board that they um, are taking responsibility for the crimes that they've been convicted of. Clearly, if he were to uh, direct law enforcement or the Smart family to where she's been buried, um, that would go a long way to, uh, I would think, to influencing a decision for potential early release. That being said, California law has changed so much over the last 10 years. We really have no idea how much of the 25 years Mr. Flores will serve before he's allowed to parole. Do you think it's likely her body will be found? We certainly hope so. I pray so. Um, the Flores family, I believe, based on the evidence introduced at trial, know exactly where they put her body. And I would call upon the Flores family today um, to come forward, either approach my office, the sheriff's office, or through their attorney, um, reach out, let us know where she is so that we can finally bring Kristen's remains back to her family. And Paul's father, Ruben, was also charged. He had a separate jury, was found not guilty of being an accessory to the crime and helping his son hide Smart's body. What's your reaction to that verdict? And do you still believe that Kristen Smart's body was or is buried on property owned by the Flores family? You know, we have no idea where they took her remains when they pulled them up from underneath uh, the deck where we believe the evidence shows she had been buried for many years. Um, and so, you know, again, we we urged them to, to come forward. Um, Ruben, of course, was acquitted. That reduces any culpability or legal culpability for him in the future. He can't be tried again. Um, and so I would just say, you know, take that now uh, human approach and say, um, it's important that we do the right thing for the smart family. And obviously the whole community would be very grateful if they were to do so. Any other detail information that you are able to share with the community at this time? You know, I think what's important is how many people over the 26 years worked together to bring us ultimately to the culmination of a successful prosecution, conviction, and now a sentence of convicted murderer Paul Flores. Um, every person, whether they were perfect in, in from each agency's perspective and what they did over the years, doesn't matter. They all cared very deeply about this case. They wanted to solve it. And uh, the sheriff and I just happen to be the fortunate ones in office now as uh, this was brought to completion. But we want to thank every person, man, woman, and young person that helped along the way. And of course, Chris Lambert for um, doing so much to keep uh, Kristen's memory alive in the hearts of people across the world. The podcast uh, certainly uh, did its part too, didn't Absolutely it? Absolutely, yes, it in did. In your own backyard. All right, Dan, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.